If you guys saw my first camera comparison of the OnePlus 7 Pro against other flagship smartphones, you would know by now that Camera 2 API is enabled on the OnePlus 7 Pro, which means that you can get some Gcam build working on this smartphone. And that is precisely what I did when I got one of the Gcam builds working on the OnePlus 7 Pro. But this is not an official build and therefore there were a couple of issues that I faced with it, which is basically that selfies had a green tint. So, you know, this comparison doesn't have selfies and video stabilization was an issue as well. Now for downloading the APK and to figure out which one works on the OnePlus 7 Pro, I actually went through a Mr. Phone article written by my colleague Varun. I don't know if you guys have seen his videos yet, but I shall link in the description below. And apart from that, I shall also link the APK I specifically used on the OnePlus 7 Pro. So I'm Ashraf from Mr. Phone and in this comparison, we're going to be comparing the OnePlus 7 Pro against the OnePlus 7 Pro's Gcam version. And just for fun, I've also added, actually not for fun, for reference sake, I've also added the Pixel 3a XL into the mix so that you guys know what the pictures look like. This is going to be a fun comparison. I'm not trying to find a winner here, but you will get to know what Gcam does to your image processing. But before we move on, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to get notified whenever Mr. Phone puts out an awesome new tech video. And thank you Gadget Shields for sponsoring this video. Those guys make awesome skins and one of their skins is on the OnePlus 7 Pro and it looks kick-ass, right? Well, I'll talk more about Gadget Shields at the end of the video. And of course, there is a surprise waiting for you as well. I made a couple of changes to the Gcam settings essentially inside the HDR plus parameters setting. I switched from seven frames to 36 frames for a better processing. And I bumped up the final JPEG quality to 100% so that we get the best quality JPEGs, of course. So now let's move to the images. As usual, let's start with the wide sample. At first glance, you can see different color temperatures on offer. While the OnePlus 7 Pro's default camera app captures a warm image, the Gcam fixes it with an accurate color temperature and colors. The Pixel 3a XL also has a nicely balanced exposure with slightly darker shades. Also at closer crop, you will notice that the Pixel offers the crispest details of the three samples. It is important to note that you don't really get crisper details using Gcam on the OnePlus 7 Pro. The softness that is present in the regular camera shot is also present in the Gcam sample. This despite using the highest quality of JPEG output. What you need to notice here is that OnePlus 7 Pro's default camera just overexposes the image. Gcam just fixes that and adds the contrast that is missing as well. By default, the OnePlus 7 Pro tends to prefer brighter exposures and I'm not really a fan of that. The Gcam version of the same shot is definitely more attractive. But the Pixel 3a XL easily beats out the OnePlus 7 Pro Gcam or not. The One Ace up OnePlus 7 Pro's sleeve is a dedicated wide-angle lens, but the images end up looking duller and softer. Anyway, you can't use the Gcam version I'm using with this camera on the wide-angle lens. I was so conflicted when comparing the portrait samples. Why? Because the OnePlus 7 Pro Gcam sample has a very warm image that looks super odd but it has the best cutout of the three. Even the OnePlus 7 Pro's default camera samples cutout looks good, but the soft face and the extra brightness are big put-offs according to me. The Pixel 3a XL really looks good, but the face is pinkish and the cutout is not that accurate either. You can check around the hair. Overall, I really like the Gcam's portrait sample, but the colors are so off. But here's the thing, colors can be fixed in post, even using your phones default gallery app. Here is the same portrait shot from the Gcam app color corrected by reducing the warmth. And I've made a few small changes to the contrast as well. Now how does it look? Which is why more than the colors, the exposure control, the focus times, the shot speeds, the sensor level details and the post-processing algorithm are given more importance in our comparisons. The overall color temperature and saturation can be easily fixed in post. Despite cranking up the number of frames for processing HDR plus to 36, the Gcam sample looks the least impressive of the three samples in the first shot of the parking lot. You can clearly see that the Pixel 3a XL's orange gradient in the sky was what I was trying to capture. The OnePlus 7 Pro's default camera does a fairly good job too, but it is the Pixel 3a XL that looks stunning. You can see the same problem in the next shot. 
What I particularly like about the OnePlus 7 Pro's default camera app is that it does a better job of bringing out details from the darker portions of the shadows compared to even the Pixel 3a XL or the Gcam shot. But then again, it is a deep orange gradient that looks stunning on the Pixel 3a XL. Moral of the story, Gcam doesn't necessarily give you pixel grade pictures at all times. Let's move to the close-up shots. The first one is of a yellow flower. You can see that the Gcam port has fixed the overexposure issues in the background. It looks good, but the color of the flower is more accurately captured by the default camera. It was a lighter shade of yellow and bright. Moreover, the Gcam image doesn't showcase the finer details in the flower at 100% crop. The Pixel 3a XL clearly takes a better picture of the three. In the second sample, the contrast in the Gcam sample looks excellent, but it is the Pixel that again manages to impress. Similarly, at closer crop, you will notice that the Gcam version is lacking in the finer details once again. I got these really pretty indoor samples at the restaurant Kheer inside the Rosiate house in Delhi. The poppy colors of the chairs and the sunlight peeping through the large windows on the rear makes for an excellent frame. I noticed that the OnePlus 7 Pro's default camera has cranked up the exposure. You can clearly see blown out highlights on the extended roof in the rear. The Gcam port fixes that beautifully. Similarly, the details are also better at closer crop. Although uh, there is no doubt in my mind that the Pixel 3a XL just looks stunning next to the other two samples and it is definitely better. Evidently, the Gcam port is useful for good shots indoors as well. In our first low light sample, the OnePlus 7 Pro Gcam sample has a pinkish tint. The color temperature of the overall picture is better on the other two samples. At 100% crop, you will notice that the OnePlus algorithm smudges the details due to aggressive noise correction. In comparison, despite the noise, I prefer the details on the Pixel 3a XL. In fact, a lot of folks will. Let's switch to the night side on the Gcam and the Pixel 3a XL and Nightscape on the default OnePlus 7 Pro camera. Nightscape does a great job and it is vastly improved from the previous version of Nightscape, so it is definitely better. But there is some weird processing that creates chunky blocks of pixels when you look at the image at 100% crop. Gcam Nightside looks so much better with a really good processing algorithm that brings out the details and lets the noise be. Even the color temperature is close to accurate. The Pixel 3a XL continues to look good as well. Overall, Gcam is really beneficial in night shots in my opinion. I do have another close-up shot for you guys. Without any special mode, the Gcam sample is not bright at all. And the Pixel's sample has a lot of noise. The OnePlus 7 Pro's default camera has a brighter image because it goes for a high ISO and the longest shutter speed as well. Now with night mode on on all the three phones, I believe that night sight from Gcam shot and the Pixel 3a XL look leagues ahead of Nightscape. In fact, I'm really digging the OnePlus 7 Pro's Gcam sample compared to the Pixel even. But it is the contrast on the Pixel 3a XL that does a good job of making things look dramatic and therefore better. In conclusion, the build of Gcam that I tried with the OnePlus 7 Pro definitely improves the color processing. It looks pleasing to the eye and it fixes that highlight clipping issue that has been plaguing the OnePlus 7 Pro since we started using it. Of course, that will get improved over uh, you know future updates, but the color processing and everything else looks great and the pictures look really good as well. Now, Compared to that though, the Pixel 3a XL definitely takes better pictures. I mean, there is no two ways about it. If all you crave for in the rupees 40,000 price range is a good camera, is a great camera, is the best camera, then the Pixel 3a XL is the phone for you. But the thing about this Gcam comparison is that, you know, this is not a stable build that I was running. So somebody needs to make a stable build soon. And one of the things that you guys need to notice is that Gcam at the end of the day is Google's work. And so kudos to the engineers for that. That. Having said that, a stable build for the OnePlus 7 Pro has to come soon uh, and you know that could open up the capabilities of the camera even further. Maybe, maybe just maybe there are some settings deep inside uh, Gcam because it's a laundry list of settings that could improve the performance like you know changes to highlight colors and saturation colors and all of those things. But that's just too much work in my opinion. Only the clued in tech nerds like us even know about Gcam in the first place. I'm pretty sure that the regular mass doesn't even know about Gcam. I mean, you guys must be talking to them about it. Having said that, uh, you know, of course, it's just too much work to go through all those settings. So finally, after doing this comparison, I'm convinced that OnePlus really needs to improve its camera algorithms on its flagship smartphones. It's good, but it is not great. Until that happens, I'm Ashar from Mr. Phone. See you in the next video. Well, no, maybe not so soon. 
because I still have to talk about Gadget Shields. Gadget Shields is the Indian company that makes these awesome skins. This is the camo one on the OnePlus 7 Pro and the texture is incredible. In fact, I have a Dot Matrix one on my MacBook Pro and the texture is incredible on that one as well. I really like the textures of Gadget Shields skins. Now, one of the things that you guys need to note about Gadget Shields is that they're made of 3M, great quality paper, and when you peel them off again, they don't leave any residue whatsoever. But the most important thing about this brand is that you get skins for Indian smartphones or smartphones sold in India like Redmi's and Realme's and all of those. So you know you have more options compared to international competitors like dbrand and slick wraps. So don't forget to go and check out more details about them in the description below. And the kind folks over at Gadgets Shields were kind enough to give five skins away for you guys more details about the contest in the description below. So finally, I hope you guys liked the video. Until next time, this is Ashar from Mr. Phone signing off. Goodbye and Godspeed, my friends.